are listening to Soul Cafe Radio, your online escape to the everyday. Now here is our host, the Wordmaster. Hello friends and welcome to Soul Cafe Radio from the Heart Radio. On today's presentation we're looking at the topic of the Sabbath and the New Covenant as we prepare for the coming hours of the Holy Sabbath day. At this time, please join me as we read our verse of the day, which is Isaiah 58, verses 12 to 14. Isaiah 58, verses 12 to 14, which read, And they that shall be of thee shall build all waste places. Thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations, and thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of paths to dwell in. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord, honorable, and shall honor him, not doing thine own ways, nor finding thine own pleasure, nor speaking thine own words. Then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth, and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, as we begin our broadcasting of the Soul Capital Radio program, be with us, dear Lord, as we listen to these beautiful messages, music, and more, dear God. Encourage our hearts, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. As you will hear later on, you can visit our internet website at soulcafeonline.com. Soulcafeonline.com. Today, again, we're looking at the topic of Sabbath as it relates to the New Covenant. And you'll hear that presentation in the final few minutes of our broadcast. But first, here are a series of items of special music as we prepare to usher in the Sabbath. Until then, God bless. Many of you 
today, you are so depressed, you are so confused, oh, yes. you feel like there is no solution to the problems that you are facing, but I have news for you, I was in a similar position and I called a friend, his name is Jesus, Jesus is my problem solver, he is my burden bearer, he is my healer, and all this is because I can talk to him about anything. I'm encouraging you to talk to him And you too will find the answer On your knees Hallelujah Hallelujah Oh Today on Soul Cafe Radio, we are looking at the topic as we prepare for the Sabbath, the Sabbath and the New Covenant. Turn with me in your Bibles to Isaiah chapter 58, Isaiah chapter 58, verses 12 to 14, and it reads, And they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places. Thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations, and thou shalt be called the repair of the breach, the restorer of paths to dwell in. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord, honorable, and shall honor him, not doing thine own ways, nor finding thine own pleasures, nor speaking thine own words, then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth, and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your love and kindness and your tender mercies towards us. As we spend these next few moments just presenting your word, dear Father, I ask you that your Holy Spirit will be in charge. Lord, take charge of your word and may it be efficacious in the lives of your people. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, turn to Isaiah 56, verses 1 to 7. This will be our study for the next few minutes. It's a short study, but it's worth it. Isaiah 56, verses 1 to 7 reads, Thus saith the Lord, Keep ye judgment and do justice, for my salvation is near to come, and my righteousness to be revealed. Blessed is the man that doeth this, and the son of man that laid hold on it, that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it, and keepeth his feet saying, 
the Lord had utterly separated me from his people. Neither let the Enoch say, Behold, say the Lord unto the Enochs that keep my Sabbath, and choose the things that please me, and take hold of my covenant. Even unto them will I give in my house and within my walls a place and a name better than that of sons and of daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. Also the son of the stranger that join themselves to the Lord, to serve him and to love the name of the Lord, to be his servants, every one that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it, and take hold of my covenant, even them will I bring to my holy mountain, and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Your burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted upon my altar, for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all people. I want you to notice the context, and I want you to notice the correlations. Context. This is talking about people who embrace the new covenant, not the old covenant. Notice that it's a house of prayer, not for some people, but for all people, Gentiles included, he's talking about. And so, the context is in relation to the new covenant. Correlation. Let's look at it in today's world. The majority of people who observe Sunday as the Lord's Day claim that those of us who observe the seven-day Sabbath are seeking to put people back under bondage by going old covenant. But as you can clearly see from this chapter, these verses, my dear friends, this is a new covenant experience. And I do pray by the grace of God that you will enter into this new covenant experience. Notice that the verse talks about the sons of the stranger, the Enochs. Those Enochs, dear my friends, tell you that they could not be Jews. It tells you clearly that they could not be Jews. And so you know, you understand these different principles that the Bible is bringing out. That it's a whole new set of people coming in under this covenant. It's a covenant of righteousness, as it says in verse 1. So you know it's the new covenant. And so dear friends, why, like the Ethiopian Enuch, as we're talking about, why, as he said, you know, if there's water in his case, but here in your case it's light, if there's much light, what does hinder you? Is it because of pride? Is it because of, well, I've been doing this thing my whole life and I can't change now? Dear friends, let nothing stop you. I pray that by the grace of God, you would study your Bible. Come here, Genesis chapter 2, verses 1, 2, and 3. Exodus chapter 20, verses 8 to 11. Deuteronomy 5, 12 to 14. Isaiah 56, 1 to 7. Isaiah 8, 12 to 14. In the New Testament, we have Hebrews 4, 1 to 11, and we have Jesus' own words, Mark 2, 27 and 28. Dear friends, God created the Sabbath day, the seventh day, for you. It's not for a set of people called the Jews. It's for all mankind. I pray that beginning this Sabbath day and continuing for the rest of the Sabbath days on into eternity, that you will seek to be a noble Berean. Study. Find out. Are you keeping Sunday because someone told you that the Sabbath was Old Covenant? Do you even know that the Sabbath is the seventh day, the Lord's day? Do you know that it is still binding and encumbered upon Christianity today? Or do you dismiss it because you hear, don't worry about it. We don't need to keep it. But what say you? What say you, dear friend? I pray by the grace of God that you and all who listen to this presentation will take the time to study, do the research, and find out for themselves, find out for yourself, if these things are so. As we close out Soul Capri Radio, Radio from the Heart today, I just invite each and every one of you, if you are able and if you are in the South Florida, Miami Gardens area especially, to join me for church at Truth for the Final Generation Church in Miami Gardens again. Address is 16321 Northwest 47th Avenue. We have services every Saturday from 9.30 until sunset. In between, we have Bible study, lunch, morning service, evening service. It's woken up so it's not like we go all day. So I invite you to come and enjoy 16321 Northwest 47th Avenue. In Miami Gardens. If you're not in the area, please join us 
via the internet at tffgflorida.org. Click on the live stream link and the Sabbath sermon link when you get to that page. And, oh friend, whatever you do this weekend, study for yourself, study it out, and don't let nobody tell you otherwise. If you have questions, comments, please feel free to get in contact with me at the word and the word, the letter and the word and master, the word and master presents at gmail.com. God bless. Oh